Adding commas to a numeric SQL result or output is a very common requirement when we're querying data. Here you can see I've got an example number, just a, a select statement and calling the result example number uh, with the equals operator. You can see it just prints out as the number I've specified with three decimal points. It's important to know that I use equals that is specific to SQL Server uh, or Azure SQL, but we can just think of that as 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 our alias or naming alias and other uh, variants of SQL. So what we can actually do now, the way to add commas simply, is to actually use the format function. And that's just essentially a way of formatting our data as we would like. There is an option to add in a culture as well if we want. So I'll just call this example number with commas as the return column name. And we can actually just use format and by specifying capital N within our quotation marks or single quotations, you can see we get the commas that separate the thousands and we also round down that initial three points after the decimal place to two. Obviously 652 rounds down to 0.65. Now we can take this a step further actually. We can use the format to go ahead and actually define a currency. So I'll just name that accordingly. And instead of the N after the number, we can actually just place a C and that will give us a currency. So that's perfect. Again, it rounds down from the three points after the decimal place to two and we get a dollar symbol. Uh, of course, uh, especially for me, I'm not, I'm not working in dollars. I'd be working in Great British Pounds Sterling. So it's actually an easy way to do that. We can wrap the format function within replace. Uh, we need to specify a comma after this brackets. Before I do that, I'll just show you that we want to replace the parameters would be a dollar symbol uh, for a Great British Pounds in my case. It could be anything uh, that you're working with, this, this sort of regional um, symbol there. But again, by using replace, taking the initial format number that we changed to currency, replacing the dollars with Great British Pounds, we're able to actually go ahead, add commas, specify a currency, um, and specify it local to our region with the Great British Pounds, all in one simple select statement with just a couple uh, nested functions. So uh, yeah, we've got the statement terminators there with the semicolons. Uh, we can see the clear, how easy it is to clearly uh, dynamically format our data.